For 20 years, we've been creating innovation in the CX industry. And now we're seeking out brilliant new perspectives on CX you just won't find anywhere else. I'm Richard Owen. Welcome to the CX Iconoclast. The first year of our podcast, the CX Iconoclast, was a great experience for us, and I hope for you as well. We had 16 episodes, some amazing guests, ranging from leading academics to CEOs to thought leaders in CX, but all people with original thinking on how to change companies to deliver real business benefits. Here's some memorable moments. With, with the whole idea of CX, it's interesting because we can, be, we can sometimes be in a bit of a marketing ivory tower and forget what the actual consumer experience is like on the other side. You may think of Tom Fishburne as a man who creates cartoons, but perhaps we should think of him as a marketer who uses cartoons to communicate satire around the marketing industry. But I always try, it, the, the sense of humor I always try to take with it is less laughing at marketers and, left, and, and more laughing at myself as a marketer. One of my favorite quotes uh, comes from Scott Brinker that um, technology changes exponentially and organizations change logarithmically. There's the shiny new object syndrome. We need to drop everything and, and do this, you know, even, even before we come up with a strategy for it on one end of the spectrum. And the other end uh, is putting the head, our heads in the sand and we don't have to worry about that. We never have to change. You know, some of this relates to digital touch points, but I think the bigger picture about being, you know, customer centric, what that really means. AI sounds uh, sexy and has a lot of sizzle, um, but the reality is when you get into, whether it's a large scale call center environment, a distributed sales environment, whatever it might be, businesses um, um, are, are probably 10 to 15 years uh, back from where we think they are. Andy Lark is a veteran chief marketing officer who I first met when he was CMO at Dell Computer Corporation, but he's also been chief marketing officer at the software giant Zero. A struggle to understand CX metrics and data in real time. They can understand it in a pocket or a silo, but they can't get the full picture. But the real shift that underpins that is our, um, our communications method has shifted from being rigid and fixed, dial my 1-800 number, click here to chat, to now being hyper uh, multimodal. CX for generations has been focused around happiness, right? It's like how happy is the customer and, um, and, and obviously with the evolution of MPS, how, 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 how probable is it that that customer would recommend us to somebody else? And that's all really, really good because uh, organizations should focus on those things. But at the end of the day, CX is fundamentally about the management of human behavior. The challenge with the logic and uh, around digital transformation efforts around, hey, look, digital is better than a human, is that it completely ignores the customer priority. I think this intensity of focus on CX needs to be paired with an equal correlated focus on PX, what's your people experience. Um, look, there's no question in... 10, the next 20 years, AI will have a profound impact on our workforce. There is a small group of com companies out there who are openly disdainful of their customers because capitalism's weak link is actually with the customer. Any, any business that exists in, a, in, in, in an open, democratic and capitalistic market is fundamentally, fundamentally driven to optimise for the P&L, not for the customer. Um, and customers don't want products and pricing optimized for love. They want it optimized for cost. So there's this natural tension in the market today between what customers want and what, co what companies are able to do. And that is actually getting more and more extreme and is likely to get more and more extreme as we enter this sort of deep recessionary period. We're not going to be, you know, making 100% people happy by not having a call center because they do want that human interaction and they want that voice over the phone. But what we are doing is we are creating that pathway and we're educating them towards it because once they've experienced it, they realize that this isn't actually a bot, it is a person. Angela Vargo is chief marketing officer at one of those rarest of things, an innovative new entrant in the airline industry. The appreciation of being able to get on an aircraft and go somewhere and experience new things I think has just shifted people more towards experiences than ever before. And I think that, you know, generationally, because of COVID, this obviously elevated that, you know, experience means everything to a younger generation 
because of that, it elevated their entire perception of what can be done from their phone. For us, for Breeze, we do not have a traditional call center. And that, you know, when we first announced that out the gate, even before COVID happened, it was seen as controversial. But, um, you know, in today's day, you really just don't need one. You don't need those people that are sitting there on the phone for 10 minutes trying to solve one person's problem. The airline industry is unlike any other industry, and it kind of sits alone in, you know, the passion that people have for it and the opinions that they have about air travel. So most organizations still suffer from what I call the, the core customer conundrum, which is they, they are, the economics of their business are fundamentally driven to disrespect the customer. As you could say that Breeze is really one of the only airlines um, in the world that is actually created and positioned to survive and thrive in a post-COVID world. Sometimes the tools that we use to try to be more customer centric can actually ironically um, get in the way. We can become marketing funnel, we get a marketing funnel vision. Thanks for listening to the CX Iconoclast from OCX Cognition. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts so you won't miss any of our thought provoking conversations. And please get in touch if you want to learn more about what OCX Cognition's predictive CX analytics platform can do for your business by providing complete insights into every account, continuously updated and connected to operations. You'll find contact info in the show notes.